Hey guys, it's Miss Trying to Figure It All Out. Today is Sunday. I am off today and I need to get out and run some errands. But first, I need to pull it all together. <music> shower you guys it is it is 11 40 in the morning so yeah i need to get ready so i can i'm not going anywhere special <laughs> i'm just running my errands but i need to go uh pick up uh pick up order at bath and body works and then pick up my grocery order so I might fill my tank up, my gas tank up while I'm out, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure about that yet. <clears throat> it's about 50, 58 degrees outside, so I have a sweatshirt, just sweatshirt and jeans. <laughs> It's okay, you don't have to be all, you know, too dressed up to spend time with y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, <clears throat> I took my nose ring out to swipe, do my makeup. Because I switched from the hoop back to the stud, I, I can't just do a lot of stuff with the stud in or it will come out. <laughs> <clears throat> Goodness, throat is scratchy. I got up. I, I was up early, but I just laid in bed for a long time. <clears throat> I didn't even turn the TV on or anything. I just lay in bed. It was cold. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to do anything today. I wish I didn't have to go anywhere. <clears throat> it's just my makeup rag. <laughs> if it's looking kind of crazy, it's because it's for makeup. So you guys, I have been, yesterday, I, I got up early yesterday and I knew I wanted to go to the gym. So I got up, got ready. Then I messaged Aubrey well, while I was getting ready and let her know I was going to the gym if she wanted to go. And she was like, no, I think I'm just going to chill and... You know, she wasn't feeling it. And then, so I go ahead and get ready. And then I leave, walk out my room, and I stop at her door. And I'm like, you know, I'm going, Aubrey. I'll see you later. And she opens the door, and she's dressed for the gym. <laughs> so that was fun. <coughs> And we have a membership to the same gym, which is convenient. I didn't even know that she still had her membership since she hadn't been. But, um, yeah, I was like, okay, well, that really works. <coughs> I haven't had eyebrows drawn on or I haven't filled my eyebrows in for <laughs> at least at least a week and a half at work all last week nope did not fill them in not once I got this interrogation on and it's um I don't 
know if it's fine. But um, this woman has, she has nine kids and she killed one. <clears throat> I know they're looking crazy, y'all, but I'm going to fix them. <laughs> she killed one. And, um, but anyway, when they were talking about the detectives and the police visiting the home to do the welfare check, they checked on the other kids and said that, I don't know why these look so different, but anyway, said that one of the kids was eating a sandwich that had a cockroach in it. So I was like, dang. I mean, I, I know it's got to be hard having that many kids, but, you know, I'm, I'm, it just seemed like she was maybe dealing with some stuff. You know, she had to be. Not that that's any excuse. I mean, you know. That's just bad, but still, I mean, no sane, normal person is would allow that. So something's got to be going on. I think I'm going to end up making another... Um, Pot of that plant-based I need plant-based chicken noodle soup so I think I'm gonna make another pot of that to start the week out at work a lot of times after I have eaten like lunch at work when, when I get home I'm still not hungry for some time and when I do eat it's just more of just snack food not necessarily a meal so I'm surprised about that. I thought my appetite was going to be way different on these hours. This eyebrow is just too thin. It's so thin and I don't have the pencil that I need. To. I have this gel only, you have to put a lot of coats if you really want to fill it in. And I don't want to have a lot of coats of <laughs> the gel on my eyebrows. <coughs> But yeah, one is definitely a lot more thin. I think I'll put this on first and I can go over it with the gel. At some point, I just got carried away tweezing. <laughs> I should just be restricted from all that, I know. that used a different color I mean, it looks similar but it's this is really more red so but it, at least it filled it in <clears throat> I'm not gonna put any gel on top of that part I thought I was gonna have to but it'd be okay <clears throat> I have made some lentils and rice. Oh my gosh, y'all. Delicioso. <laughs> they were good. I was like, oh my goodness, what have I done? Um, so I think I might take some of that over to my mom, surprise her with that. She would love that. Let's see if Aubrey feels like going anywhere.
So anyway, yeah, I've been doing well with going to the gym. I have been, I don't know if you guys remember, I had purchased that hula waist thing that you do the hula, 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 hula hoop <laughs> movement to. So I had purchased that and I could not. And when I say I could not, I could not get the hang of it at first. It was just like, oh my Lord, this is a waste. But I finally took my time with it. And I was like, you know what? I bet this is ridiculous. I just need to take my time. I fi finally, I'm using it with no issue. And I've actually been able to remove three tracks, three pieces which is great, but I think it is so fun. Yesterday, usually I just do it here in my room, but yesterday I took it downstairs and did it in the living room while I was watching stuff. And <laughs> I was like, this is fun. So even though I went to the gym yesterday, later on I did that. So yeah, it was a good time. I am so happy I finally, I, that I didn't just give up on it because sometimes I just be like, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <coughs> my room yesterday I know you guys are gonna see eventually there's a basket of <laughs> clothes I need I do need to take downstairs to wash so I'm just a real person so I do yeah I got some dirty clothes in here <laughs> I'm gonna throw them in the washer probably sometime later maybe after I get home put my nose ring in <coughs> So yeah, I'm going to stop and pick up a Bath and Body Works order. They have a good little sale. And I, I tend to wait till there's a sale just because I'm, I'm just, I'm frugal. And anybody that knows me knows that I, I do try to live by a budget. So I just think that without the sale, that the pricing is ridiculous. I, I really do. And I, I feel like that for a lot of stuff though, unless it's, there's some special or something, I just feel like the price is it's just uncalled for. <laughs> Try to get in and get a nail appointment. So my pinky nail started lifting a little bit, but I, I mean, I glued it, but it started lifting a little bit. I was like, all right now. <laughs> but I couldn't get one. They, they were, it, it's hard to get into that place. It's not like my other nail shop. I could easily get in, but this nail shop, it's it's a little bit tougher. And I'm going to the same guy that I used to, um, that I went to before there. His name is Patrick. He's really good. He, he really is. He's got social media, but... I actually, the nail lifting was actually probably something that I did. I, I know it was because I hit my nail really hard, like super hard. Like I was like, is it off? <laughs> I meant not the, not the, the gel X. I meant my nail. Like it, it hit that hard. I was like, oh my goodness. But, um, 
you know, if you're not careful, if you hit your nails, it will disconnect the skin to your natural nail. Like I hit it really hard. So I knew it, and it didn't start having issues with licking until after that. So usually with these Gel X nails, I, I don't have issues like that with them lifting or breaking or anything. I do think when I go again, I might, I'm not sure, but I might get um, the a stiletto nail, go back to stilettos. I'm not really sure though. The good thing about this nail shop, well, it's just a nice option that they have so many more colors available different techniques even though I'm I'm not really one for nail designs <laughs> I know that's like a thing but I I I'm I kind of like um what do you want to say dance to the beat of my own drum I don't follow a lot of trends I just kind of like do what I do <laughs> live my life um, so I don't, I, I mean, some of the nails designs, they look cute on other people, but I'm just like, I'm good. I, I tend to like, and I will do maybe some different colors, like, um, like an ombre or what I want to say, or yeah, like, like just like maybe have one that's black, one that's a different color. That's my extent, <laughs> but as far as just going all out and having like, um, Aubrey has shown me some pictures and she showed me this, this, this female had her nails done and she got a dang on piece of chicken, not a real piece of chicken, but a chicken leg done on her nail. And so it was sitting up off the nail like this. It, I was like, okay. But, you know, to each his own. Some people really like that stuff. And, it, I mean, it looks nice on some people. It's just not for me. <clears throat> Gotta live your life how you want. <laughs> Regardless of what anyone else thinks. So, even though it's not for me, go ahead and get that chicken on your nails. <laughs> oh. watched another interrogation y'all day what was it? day before yesterday so it was friday night and it was like i rarely watch one that i can't stomach like you know or that i just really makes me feel like emotional this one it the, that that particular one it really did it was um because this group of people young adults had um, abused uh, a young lady. She was like barely out of her teens, but she had a developmental disability. So she was a little bit um, slower developmentally. And um, so I don't know, I didn't catch where this young lady's like parents were at what happened with her parents why they would allow her to be around these people in this situation but they were just like doing stuff like um they there were many people in one house young adults and i'm pretty sure there may have been some drug use <coughs> and you know drinking and stuff like that but they just tortured her like they would make her stick her to brush up her behind and brush her teeth and um they would like if she was just sitting on the floor watching tv they would go kick her in the back kick her in the head jump on her head like it, it was just amazing like i had to stop so many times i was like i can barely even take this and so of course that behavior escalated because i mean she didn't have anybody to advocate for her and you know it was just really sad it escalated and um they ended up something happened where it was something really small that 
one of the people living in the house, like a couple of them had kids, like little kids, toddlers. And one of the babies that didn't belong to her, even though she had a child too, but I don't know what, where that child was or anything. But um, <clears throat> the ch one of the children fell and hit their head or something like that. But anyway, she had nothing to do with it, but yet she was accused. And so the father of that child they orchestrated this thing and took her and to make a long story short, they like tortured her, put a knife in her private area in her, I mean, y'all, it was the most sad thing. Like I could have cried. I had to stop watching it. I, I was just like to know I, I was, but I wanted to keep watching it because I wanted to see what type of sentencing these people got. Cause I, I, I'm not, you know, I, I don't, I'm not big on the death sentence. Um, I'm really conflicted about that. But in this case, if they, you know, got the death sentence, I would be like, that's great. I mean, because it was that horrific what they did to this young lady. And so, yeah, she ended up dying. They took her out to a um, country, like a field, and had um, shot her out there. But it was just horrific and these young people were like in their 20s it was crazy and the the if it had not been for one of the lady young ladies that lived in the home she um went in and snuck because she was scared they were going to kill her if they found out she was talking but she snuck and went and reported to the police and ended up being able to move out of the home with her child because you know she was like they're probably going to kill me but yeah, these people were just like animals, y'all. It was it was wild. I watched it. It's something on YouTube. I'm not sure whose video it was, but um, it's long. It was like a couple, like maybe almost two hours long. But like I said, I had to stop so many times because it was so. It, I have a special place in my heart for people in general, but especially people with developmental disabilities, and to to know to think about how terrified that was like all the pain that she was going through even before they killed her like just on a daily basis them punching her and hitting her and stuff all that she was going through and they um prior to that one of them stabbed her in the leg for no reason and then his girlfriend stuck her finger in her wound like they they um, the lady that reported it said that she knew she was unable to cry. Like, as if she cried, it was going to be worse. So, I, that it broke my heart. I was just like, my lord. <sighs> Crazy. But, <laughs> okay, on to lighter things. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put my shirt on first. Like I said, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt today. I'm going to put my shirt on and then, um, yeah, that way I can go ahead and get this head together. So how long? So you guys, I think this sweatshirt is just adorable. I just like that it's different. It's just not like your average sweatshirt. It's got a little button in the back and it crisscrosses. twisted yeah crisscrosses so it's, this will be on the back of my neck I kind of got to be selective on what kind of bra like of course you don't have to have a bra on but this is not adorable I just love it. I'll show you when I stand up too. You can do strapless. Like I might end up changing and doing strapless. Or you can just move the straps down. So like I just did. And it's like cute little sleeves. I just think it's adorable. I've had it since last year. But <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> I could use some coffee. I have a container of instant coffee, Folgers, instant Folgers, but I, I left it at work. <laughs> so 
Um, yeah. I kind of want to do something on the top of my head. Like a scarf, maybe. Take a scarf out just in case. So I think while I do this part, well, no, wait, I can't do it that way. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was thinking I would move my sweatshirt out the way so I didn't get makeup on it, but it's all good. I'm trying to put on my hair towards the front. My job is going to be having another audit coming up. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> it's just, I'm still getting over the last one. This doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just getting this hair out the way. I'll just use a hair clip so that way I can tie a scarf on. But, yeah, so I'm like, dang it. Another audit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but, you know, they have to stay up on sort of and stuff so I was like dang I just really I just really wish that was not the case but it's when you work in manufacturing that's I mean there's no way around it you have to <laughs> stay certified <coughs> have a scarf I kind of want to do a high figure out how I'm going to secure the score. <laughs> This may not work, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Didn't work. Okay, so let's try this again. Lord. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Okay, so this time I put it back on. Like, I'm echoing. <laughs> I feel like I got my ears cupped in here. But so I have it tied like this this time. I'm just gonna have to make some adjustments. Tuck that little like that, and then I might have to do like a cute little knot in the front. Maybe I wish I didn't have to do a knot in the front. So we'll see. I kind of want it. wasn't wanting to have to put a knot in it. So I could somehow just tuck it without it coming out. We'll see. And if not, then I'll just do the knot.
pull this out of my hair. I'm going to have to work with my hair and then do some pinning. It's harder than what it looks, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, my arms are getting tired. I don't want it all off my face. <laughs> Get some hairpins. <laughs> That's what it's going to come down to. Get some hairpins and then some cute accessories together, and I will be back. Okay, guys, so I finally got it tied. <laughs> it actually looks like my hair is short, <laughs> but I think that's cool. That's the beauty of accessories. You could just do what you want to do with them. I am echoing. I'm going to have to. Oh my gosh, that sounds so weird. <laughs> Could go without earrings but I kind of want to put this gold hoop only because I think I'm going to do my some gold and white gym shoes have bobby pins sticking down in there. <laughs> I'm surprised they secured my hair, but they did. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank goodness it's not the windy out. <laughs> Tastes good, but <laughs> let me go ahead and get my pants on and a couple more accessories, and I will be back. So, you guys, I had to change it up a little bit, I just twisted it so it doesn't nice cute little twist and then I tucked it I think it's really cute but anyway I love this sweatshirt it's thick it's like got the sweatshirt and then over isn't that adorable look at the bag oh <laughs> <clears throat> I still gotta grab my shoes and again, you can go ballless or strapless, however you want to go. Cute and fun for an errands outfit or out to eat or out to the movies, whatever. I love it. I could probably put heels on with this, but I'm going to do some gym shoes today just to make it fun. So yeah, the gold hoops go with the gold in my gym shoes. <clears throat> I'm going to put these socks on. You're not going to see my socks, but I just think these are adorable. <laughs> it doesn't really match, but they're, they're really one of my favorites. So yeah. Got that evil eye. So let me go ahead and put my socks on. Hold on. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I am off to run my errands, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.